What is up guys and welcome back. Right, we're going to do two challenges here, but also I'm going to explain how these challenges actually work. So as you can see there, I've got gold on calculation and trapped. Now this means there are three tiers to each challenge, the bronze, the silver and the gold. So if it says in the bottom right hand corner for earful, I need 250, that is only for the bronze rank. And that's going to increase probably to 500 and then probably to 750. Like at the ranked over there, I'm on the bronze for 200 kills. So I can only assume the gold rank is going to be 300 kills. So as you can see, the best thing to do when it comes to this is try and do the easiest challenge first. Because you unlock uh, effects with your badges and rings to help you when they get more challenging. For example, Earful is the one I should be going for now because technically it's going to be the easiest challenge to get. And it'll either upgrade my patch or upgrade my ring. So definitely do the challenges, the easiest ones first to get those unlocks to help you with the more difficult difficult ones and when you've done that go for the harder ones making it just a little bit easier dare I use the word easier but in this video I'm going to show you the tutorial on the calculation which is a hundred barrel kills as well as the trapped which is in the end I think is also a hundred uh, trapped kills so the, the amount that you're seeing on your screen again is the silver or the bronze amount that you need but the gold one is going to be the gold rank which is about a hundred so let's get into it right here we go now I have formulated a semi strategy for getting high scores but I thought I'd throw these two up because that's going to take a little bit more grinding and a bit more experience before I can get those so first off with the calculation you guessed it when you try and throw these attractors do not throw them in front of the barrel so you won't be able to shoot the barrel if they crowd up too much and you can avoid that fairly easily just by throwing the attractor elsewhere as you can see here I threw it just to the behind the car and I can still see the barrel over there that will be the death of you when it comes to not being able to see it. With this kind of one, I think I did twice on this horde. As you can see, there's still plenty enough there to get some kills. Just got through with that one. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind, guys. If you throw a pro proximity bomb or a grenade and blow up the barrel that way, you will also get the grenade kills. They won't count for the calculation. So the best way to do this is to throw down your tractor and then actually just shoot them. Because if you throw a grenade or proximity bomb next to a barrel, obviously the explosion of the proximity bomb will take out some of the freaks as well. Now I love this little passage over here when it gets a bit hairy. Okay, this is obviously early gameplay for me. I would have taken a right down there definitely and they funnel through that alleyway and you can sort them out. But I guess I was going for this over here. As you can see, I throw the attractor on the other side of the barrel, leaving a clear view for me to shoot this one right here. Okay, that is the bronze award. And if you're wondering why we're vaulting, you probably know by now that vaulting increases your stamina a little bit. And I remember watching a video of someone vaulting and then rolling directly afterwards every time, which kind of negates the reason for vaulting. So in here, you're going to get your two attractors and a whole lot of freakers. I didn't do that very well. There was actually ammo in there too. But moving on. I was weird that there weren't any down here. I guess I'd taken most of them out by now. And you kind of don't want to waste an attractor bomb or something like that. I think it's exactly what I do now when there's so few of them. But I think there are a few that are going to come out of here now. Let's have a look see. So always keep track of your time. So I've got nine seconds. A couple of shots there. Adds on ten quick seconds. Throw the attractor on the other side so I can still see the barrel. Take out some strag strags. And what are we on now? I think it's 58. Yep, up to 78. So as you can see, you definitely have enough traps at the start of the game. This attractor was a poor throw. I could have thrown it much closer to that barrel. Some stragglers again. I think I get another 20 on this one. I think maybe 20 is the max one barrel can take out. I have no idea, to be completely honest. Or it was just massive coincidence. So uh, right here, I just needed two more. And I thought, okay, fuck it, let's just go. There it is. Calculation 7,000 is the max credit you can get for the challenges. All right, guys, the next one is trapped. Let us have a look at this. Now, the first thing I like to do, like I mentioned in the, in the previous um, challenge, is this is what I do at the start of every level pretty much throw an attractor don't throw it against the wall for some reason uh, less freakers surround that if um, you throw it against the wall because it's kind of like I don't know maybe a circular circumference around it that allows them to hit at the air like they do there but as you guessed it whip out the Molotov oh wait no sorry this is the trapped one I'm so on autopilot there 
as you can see I put down two bombs and uh, managed to get I can't see it this looks like 20 or so in the first go so not a bad start but we're gonna do another tractor right there and we're gonna do the proximity or not proximity remote bomb it's difficult to use those without attractors uh, unless you again you funnel them down an alleyway or something like that as you can see I'll throw a smoky there and that just bunches them up so when they do eventually start running towards me again they kind of as you can see there's not like one that's far ahead of another one and when you use a remote bomb or proximity bomb probably not the best idea to put it next to the barrel but I got some there anyway all right let's see what I do next don't really need the time so I probably should have just set up my next one I guess I've got what well, I got one more tractor and probably use that with the remote bomb straight away again kind of have to put it on top of each other as you can see and then wait a couple of seconds and take them out and that's gonna be the bronze surrounded on trap kills so that's 5,000 and the most you can get is 7,000 so we're gonna keep motoring forward Let's see what we can do here we've got the attractor bomb which is is not obviously the bad one I like to use the proximity one sooner because they're more difficult and the horde just gets bigger and bigger as you know see these ones I don't think I've got any as you can see it was 53 I think it says there ah there we go 63 As you can see, hot on my heels and throwing down a proximity bomb just ain't gonna cut it right now. So, we use the remote bombs. Taking them out as we go. I do have a tractor bomb, which is pretty good. Again, I didn't want to put it near the barrel because it's gonna take away my kills. We don't want them to burn, we want them to be trap killed. So that's gonna be a good one. There we go. So now check this out. So I've got 71 of 100. Uh, throw down the attractor bomb. And it says I kill a whole bunch, as you will see, but it doesn't give me a single score count. Stay 71. If anyone can explain that to me, I would be very thankful. But the next time I use the attractor bomb, it does work. Now I'd like to throw some smoke down before entering this house. Because there's ammo and two attractors right here. This all will become second nature after a while. And they're going to come up there quite quickly, but with the smoke, you're going to give yourself some more time. There they are. All going to be chilling right there. A good time for something. Remote bomb, maybe, yeah. There we go. Up to 81, it looks like. And I did find this easier doing the challenges one at a time, essentially. Don't try and do them all at once, it's going to make it way more difficult. Just focus on one, focus on the ears, focus on trapped or barrels, and then right at the end, focus on your rank up when you've got everything maxed out that you can. Close now, 94. And I think I get it over here with the help of some smoke. Where are you at? There it is. So again, throw the smoke down and then the proximity bomb afterwards. It lets them bunch up and then all come at the same time, phrasing. And you'll get a lot more kills, although it was only two in the end, I think it was. But the attractor bomb right here hopefully decides to give me some kills, because it didn't before. Oh, no, no, no. And there it is. 7,000 is the max you can get for those ranks. So that's it, guys. Two challenges in the bag there, and I'm working very hard to find some awesome strategies to make the ranked uh, challenge as easy as possible. I just need a couple more hours on that and I'll be sorting that out for you guys in no time. So I'm going to let the rest of this run play out guys but please if you're enjoying the content smash the like button it really helps the channel. Subscribe if you're really liking it. Plenty more guides on the way so I want to say thanks for watching and I want to catch you on the next one.